dominant sound chord. And we will explore all of them. Hi everybody and welcome back on the Daily Music Tip. I am Giovanni Perin and as I mentioned before, we will talk about how to use extension on a dominant sound chord. There are of course several possibilities. If you don't know anything about chords, uh, check out my previous lessons about 7th chord, major and minor triad. I assume that you know all those basic structure for this lesson. If you want to know more about extensions, check out my previous lesson about extensions over major and minor chords. And uh, let's go deep into the material. For a dominant 7th chord, I can use my regular arpeggio and then I can add the 9th, the sharp 11 and the 13th. Let's do it on G and we have 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 9, sharp 11 and 13. The second possibility is to play the flat 9 with the sharp 5. possibility that we have is to play the sharp 9 and the sharp 5. And now I will show you a great arpeggio to learn all of them and it works like this. One, Sharp 11. Listen again to it. With this big arpeggio, I'm touching basically all the possible extensions. When do I use the first, the second, and the third solution? It's up to me. But usually, in a major contest, you want to play solution number one with the regular 9 and 13. And if you want, you can add the sharp 11. And when playing over a minor chord, you want to touch the flat 9 or the sharp 9 and the sharp 5. Because those are notes taken from a minor key. And in fact, G is the dominant of C minor. And if we check the note of C minor, we have exactly that is the sharp 5 in G and we have A flat that is the flat 9 and we have the A sharp that is the sharp 9 and those are all notes taken from our C minor tonality I hope this music tip was helpful if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, put a like on my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and please write on the comment below if there's something that you want me to talk about. Thanks a lot and bye bye.